here we go. This is kind of a big one, sort of. I, well, it, it is. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to the Laundry Chat Podcast, a place where we help each other sort out life's laundry. My name is Molly Marco, and today is quite the conversation. I have been wanting to do this for a long time. Um, I've been feeling the need to talk about it for a while, but it's it hasn't. It's only been a little over a week since I've been wearing a wig, and I didn't want to talk about it until. I had more experience with it and got a chance to kind of collect my thoughts with it. And I mostly have. I think I think this is something that my thoughts might change on it later or uh, I don't know. But as of right now, I've, I've come to a lot of conclusions. And so we're going to go through the 10 things that I've learned from wearing a wig for a week. And there's a lot of things that I've learned. And... I also, before we get into those things, I want to tell you kind of a backstory about basically why I am wearing a wig right now, and just so you can kind of understand where I'm coming from, and then hopefully you can learn from from these things that I've learned from wearing a wig and, and apply them to not just your hair, but to other things in your life that are maybe consuming too much of your headspace. <laughs> so let's get into the backstory and then we'll get into the 10 reasons or no, the 10 things that I've learned while wearing a wig for a week. Okay. So to start off, I, I'm wearing a wig right now. And like I said, I have been for a week and I would never, I never would have thought I would be the person that would wear a wig. Um, and it honestly makes me feel very hypocritical because you know we're supposed to love ourselves we're supposed to accept ourselves as we are we're supposed to be okay with the way we were made uh but here I am (laughs) so basically the reason I decided to wear a wig um and get one and order one was because my hair has always been been bothering me it's always been something I worry about I think about I take time to do I obsess over um and it wasn't really until until doing the vlog series with my friend Ellie and I about us going to Texas that I really was able to see like how much footage of me there is of me just talking about my hair and worrying about it and then me touching it, me looking at it, me trying to fix it. It just is like it's horrible and it would it got to the point where it would keep me from from doing things. I wouldn't want to go and see people. I would be scared of the weather. Um, during wedding shoots, I would, I would feel just like gross and I would get like shy because I felt like I looked horrible because my hair was crazy. And even, even before the vlog series happened, like I, I would straighten my hair for like forever. And then I'd re-straighten it throughout the day and I would dye it. My sister is a, does my hair cause she's a cosmetologist and she would do my hair all the time and she'd always do a great job, but it would just, I wouldn't be able to like maintain it. I would keep straightening and keep damaging it. And it just, my hair was just taking it. It was, well, for one, getting damaged. And then through that whole time, I was kind of like damaging myself because I like wanted to attain this like perfect, this like image that I had in my head. And I I guess you could say that, yeah. Um, But basically, like I had always, I had always had straight, straight hair Um, or that, I guess I'm born with naturally wavy hair, but I had always straightened it. I love straight hair. I love it when my hair is straight and I feel like myself. And through all this damaging and coloring and straightening over the years, my hair would would not straighten. It would it would be straight for a little bit and then it would just like frizz up, flip out, and even my bangs. I couldn't even have my regular bangs anymore. For a long time, I would just push them off to the side because they would they would flip and wave and and get frizzy and I didn't know what to do. And I, I remember even one of my, um, Instagram friends, Shannon, she was like, when I finally had my, um, bangs in front of my face, she was like, Oh, I haven't seen you in like a fringe or whatever. And I'm like, this is that. And I almost got like sad because that's how I 
always had my hair. Like that's how my hair is supposed to be is like in bangs and it it just couldn't. And I I didn't feel like myself. And so it had been a long time of me not feeling like myself, not being happy with my hair, obsessing over it and worrying about it, that it was when I was in my brother's, (laughs) I was working the donut mobile and I was just like, jokingly, like I should get a wig and just put, put something over it and whatever. And then I was like, actually I could do that. And it, that would work. Um, so I, I researched wigs, looked them up. Um, and I ordered two of them being like, well, I mean, I can always return it if it doesn't go good and whatever, you know, but the thought of it just sounded so nice to just not have to worry about my hair and to know that it, it will look good no matter the weather, no matter what I do to it, no matter it, it and the day after day, like it would just look fine. I wouldn't have to do it. And that just sounded so good. So I was so excited for my wigs to come. And, but also simultaneously, I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that like, this is what my life was coming to, you know? Um, because wigs just have such a horrible connotation to them. Like when someone says like, oh, I'm wearing a wig. It's like, whoa, like you're either like a drag queen or like a celebrity or you're, you have cancer or something. Like, it's like, it's like those three things that like, and then wigs are just like really weird and like not, I don't know. So I was nervous, but more excited. I honestly could not wait. So once I got my wig, I, I, I seriously fell in love. I felt like I had put on myself again and I just, it, it felt like freedom. It felt like I felt invincible. I felt, I felt like myself and, um, and I hadn't felt like that in a long time, a very long time. So that's kind of the backstory. Uh, I'm probably missing things, but now that I've worn it in public, I've worn it um, to the beach, I've worn it around people that know me, I've worn it around my family, I've worn it in pictures and videos. Um, Now that I've done that, I have um, more thoughts and more things that I've learned, and, and I just want to share these with you. So let's, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I learned was that my hair actually takes a, up a lot more of my time than I thought. Uh, I can wake up way later now. I don't have to. Uh, I don't. I can skip a shower if I need to. I can. I don't have to fix it. I don't have to straighten it. I don't have to. You know, even spray it with stuff. I. I. It's so. It. It, it saves me so much time. It's crazy. Um, it's literally so nice. <laughs> um, especially the fact that like I can just wake up and go put it on and then I'm good and out the door and I can get on with my life and spend my time doing things that I actually love doing. I don't love doing my hair. It's never been something up till like even fifth grade I met or sixth grade. I had my mom do my hair cause I didn't like doing it. So it's just been like so nice to not have to spend time doing it. Okay. The second thing that I've learned while wearing a wig for a week is that hair also takes up more thought than I thought. Um, throughout the day, I'm, I found myself not thinking about my hair. And when I did think about my hair, it was good thoughts for once. It was like, oh, like, no, my hair looks fine. Don't have to think about it. You know, whenever that temptation of like, oh, the hair, you know, there's humidity, like, I bet your hair is like, you just look crazy. Um, I didn't, I didn't have to think about that. It was just, I'm fine. Like, let's just go, you know? Um, I didn't worry about the rain. I didn't think about what people were thinking about my hair. I didn't think about any of that. I didn't touch my bangs. I didn't, you know, fix my hair throughout the day. It was beautiful. And I was realizing how much, just how much thought my hair takes out of me and how much thought I do put into my hair um, throughout the day. And and it's, it's crazy. It's scary. Um, but yeah, that, 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 I learned that. <laughs> um, the third thing that I learned was that, like wigs, wigs look natural. Um, they they look real, and you would be surprised about how many people, at least celebrities and famous people, are are wearing wigs when they change up their hair. Um, they they're they're super natural looking. They make them good now. They're not just like these like 
purple and blue and like crazy curly wigs. They look natural. They people who don't know you couldn't tell. Even people in my life, like they they had no idea. Even my dad didn't even like you. I came down to say goodbye to him, and I was like, "Do you guys think this looks good?" Like because I had it in different hairstyle, my wig, and my dad's like, "Oh, I didn't even notice that it wasn't wasn't your normal hair." So wigs look natural and they aren't as crazy as society makes you think that they are um so yeah the fourth thing is that I think that that a wig like I said it has a very bad connotation to it it sounds very high maintenance it sounds very superficial and materialistic but people get fake eyelashes you know on and people you know dye their hair different colors and people um you know, put extensions in their hair and people like, like we're, people are always doing things that are like modifying how they look. And we just like, even makeup, like you don't look like some people, you know, like lipstick, our lips aren't naturally red. And, um, our, our eyelashes with mascara aren't the same or eyeliner or like bronzer or, you know, foundation. Like we, we hide things that we don't like. And obviously it's not ideal. Like it's not, we, but but we do. That's that's what we do. And a wig is honestly no different than that. It's just a whole head of hair instead of like half your hair or instead of dyeing your hair blonde, you can just put on a wig that's blonde that looks like your hair. Um, my wig looks like my normal hair, except, you know, straight and a little bit more of the color that I had wanted. But yeah, so it's, I just think that the thing that scared me about getting a wig was that it felt very, very superficial to me. Um, and that I was kind of being contradictory to, you know, um, it, like being confident in yourself and who you, God made you to be. But I also wear, you know, foundation. And I also, you know, like, what else do I do? <laughs> I also, I mean, I dye my hair, you know, and I just, I just don't see that as different. Um, and and even those things, I think I think they're gonna, it's on the same level as those things where we shouldn't have to do them, but we do, and I'm okay with it now. I, I wasn't for a while, but I'm okay with it for the most part now. Okay, the fifth thing is that I do get jealous of people with real hair. So if I see someone walking down the street and they have naturally long, like pretty hair and it's just gorgeous, I do get jealous because I'm like, here I am wearing a wig. It's not even real. And look at this person who has like real hair and they don't even have to wear a wig. Um, so I do, I do get jealous of people I'm, I'm finding of uh, their real hair when I never really got jealous of people's hair too much before, but now I really notice it. Um, so that's something I'm kind of working on, but, um, it's, it's okay. I'm, I, I'm, it's not, that's not a big, too big of a deal, but I do feel a little bit like shameful because look at this person with like their natural pretty hair and I have like fake hair, synthetic hair on. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of a downside. Um, number six is that now I can focus on my heart instead of fixing my hair. So I, I've been finding that I can, I can just truly, I can truly be myself now. Like I said, I feel like myself now. So now I feel like instead of trying to fix how I look, now I can just fix who I am and fix, fix the things about myself that I've been needing to um because I feel like hair was just such a big distraction from that where it's like well I'll work on myself like after I look good or whatever which I know sounds crazy and horrible but that's kind of how I I viewed it like I I would want to make sure that I looked the way I wanted to look before I could like I don't I don't really know how to explain it but but basically hair was just a huge distraction from me fixing myself like I said, I fixed my hair before I would fix myself, and now I feel like I can actually work on who I want to be because I feel like I'm because I feel like I'm me in the first place. So, yes. Number seven is that it's healthier for your real hair. So not even just because, like a another part of me doing this is because I do want to fix my damaged hair, and I can have the hairstyle that I want, and that. I'm wanting to achieve uh, while while I'm waiting for my real hair to achieve it. <laughs> so um, it's just it protects my hair. I don't straighten it. It's it's growing now. Um, 
it's not being dyed. It's, you know, it's protected. It's not even in the sun. So I, I'm excited to have my real hair grow and be healthy again and eventually not have to wear a wig. You know, that's, that's the end goal is to not have to wear a wig eventually. But for now, um, it's just so good for your hair. It's so, so good for your hair. And I'm excited to see how, how much better my hair is from like not straightening it, even for like a month or something and how much better it grows and, um, how much better it will be in the future. So I was kind of thinking about going bald for a while and shaving my, all my hair off and completely starting over, but I'll update you guys on that. I'll, I'll let you know what I think and what I decide because it's kind of a big decision. I might just keep it where it's at and let it grow from there and then cut it if I want. But yeah, it's just super, super healthy for your hair. And I can already tell that my hair is a lot softer from not straightening it. Okay. Number eight, I feel invincible, honestly. Um, it's, I, I keep going back to that word. Um, but I really, I really feel invincible. Um, I, I remember the first time I was, I, I made a vlog about my first time wearing a wig in public. So you can watch that on my YouTube channel if you want, um, if you haven't already. But I really felt like I was untouchable. I felt like I was strong and, and I was able to accomplish anything, as dumb as that sounds, because my thoughts weren't thinking, like I wasn't, I wasn't obsessed with how my hair looks and feeling like I needed to fix something. I felt like I was, I was, you know, good to go and no weather could touch me. And I, I don't know. I, and I know this can get kind of iffy because you're supposed to, you know, find your confidence in the Lord and you're supposed to get that from, from God. And, and I, I get that. And I talked about this a little bit in my wig vlog video that I feel like it just, it, This wig enables me to do that in a weird way. It enables me better to to get my confidence from God because because I can actually focus on God now. Um, So yeah, I don't I don't know if that really makes sense. And again, my opinions on these might this might change. But as for now, that this is how I honestly feel about it, and um, it really is a huge huge relief to me. And I, I don't regret it at all. Number nine, people think it's weird. Um, people think it's super weird. And, uh, but not as weird as I thought they would. When I was at a wedding, um, the girl was like, oh my gosh, your hair looks so cute. How do you get it like that? And I was like, oh my gosh, do I like pretend that it's my natural hair? Do I tell her? And as I said, can I tell you a secret? And I was like, this is a wig. And she didn't act as surprised as I thought she would. She had more like questions about it and more like was curious about it and still was supportive of it. And I mean, I don't know how much of that was genuine and true, but, and not just like, you know, being polite, but it's not as weird. It's not as weird as you think. Um, even though people, people think it's weird when they hear about it. And I don't know, but like I said, it looks natural. So it's, it's easy to, I think, look past um, and to forget about, sort of. Um, maybe. I'm not sure what people actually are thinking. Maybe For some people, it's different. Like my friend Ellie, she, she, she probably still thinks it's weird. I know she had said that, like, yeah, no, it's just I keep thinking that, you know, it's a wig. And, you know, like, I'll keep remembering that it is. And But I don't know. Um, yeah, people, people still think it's weird, though. People still think it's, like, it's not a normal thing. It's not something that people talk about, that a lot of people have, that a lot of people do. Um, so that's, it makes it, it makes it weird. Even, even when people don't think it's weird, it's still, it still feels weird. It's still a little weird. So, okay. And the last and final thing that I learned from wearing a wig for a week is that I don't think of the wig, I'm going to read this just so you know. <laughs> I don't think of the wig as covering up myself as much as I do letting it uncover me. Um, so I kind of touched on this before with all of this, but I, I was, I honestly feel like this wig is like a helmet for my head to cover, to cover the attacks and the thoughts that like Satan and the devil like throw at me and that have, has been going through my head for so long. Um, 
that's why I feel invincible. I put, I put on this wig and I'm like, I don't have to think these thoughts. I don't have to, you know, obsess over this. I don't have to try and justify anything and try and fix anything and try and worry about anything and try and, you know, it just, it feels, it feels like a shield. It feels invincible. It feels like a helmet. And when I put it on, I'm ready and I am, I'm ready to do what I, I was made to do. And I wasn't made to worry about my hair. I wasn't made to like make my hair look good. Like that's not, and, and I, and it sounds crazy, but like this, that's what, how my thoughts were. Like I know saying this, I know it sounds weird because that those are literally my thoughts was like uh, my hair is I'm worried about it da, 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 da. and that's why I kind of was thinking like is this body dysmorphia like is my eating disorder coming back like is this and I, I still don't know I don't know if it's body dysmorphia and it's partly because you know I feel out of control and things and so I can at least control my hair you know but those were my thoughts that's how like obsessive and like it seriously felt like I was being like attacked And this wig helps that so much. I can't explain it enough. So the fact that my thoughts aren't geared towards that, that this is a helmet covering my head from those thoughts, uncovers who I am because my thoughts don't go towards that anymore. And and it's just, it is so beautiful to me. Um, I feel like I can live my life. I don't worry about pictures. I don't worry about videos. And that's what I do. Like I'm, I'm always on, I'm always on the internet. I'm always, you know, showing people my life and showing people what I do and who I am. And, um, and it just, it lets me do that better. I can, I can, I can breathe again and I can, I can create better and, um, more confidently because I don't worry about about my stupid hair so yeah those those are the 10 things I learned so I'm going to go through them briefly again so the first thing I learned is that hair took up more time than I thought second thing hair took up more thought than I thought third thing wigs actually look really natural the fourth thing they're no different than any other body modification lashes makeup extensions etc they really aren't any different than that I don't someone please tell me the difference if you have if you have a difference um fifth thing that I learned was I got jealous of people with real hair (laughs) really pretty hair um and kind of ashamed I guess you could say um six now I can focus on my heart instead of fixing my hair seven it's healthier for your hair for your real hair eight you feel invincible Nine, people still think it's weird, but not as weird as you would think people would think it's weird. (laughs) And you'll probably think it's weird too. Um, And the 10th thing, I don't think of the wig as covering myself as much as I do as as letting it uncover me. So those are the 10 things I learned from wearing a wig for a little over a week. And it has been quite the journey. And I've I can't decide if I feel like a wreck or I feel super wonderful (laughs) about all this, but mostly wonderful, honestly. Um, Mostly wonderful. Uh, I'm excited to, like, I don't know if I'll, 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 you know, get different wigs and be able to, like, change it up. Like, maybe I'll have a short wig that's dark and then a longer wig that's a little blonder or what I'll do. Like, maybe I'll just switch out my hair all the time because you just can't. I don't know. But... That's another thing. Bonus, bonus learning thing is that you can just like change it up. You know, if you want to try brown hair, like dark brown hair and a short length, you can. Um, So I'm excited to play around with it Um, and excited to see, you know, how long this goes for. Uh, I, you guys, I think I'm planning on taking you guys along for the journey. So, um, uh, yeah, I, (laughs) you'll, you'll hear about it, I'm sure. Um. Because, yeah, maybe this is just a month-long thing. Maybe this is a, a, a long-time thing. But, yeah, I I just, I'm glad that I got this out here. Um, I feel like there's still more things that I could explain and say and talk about and more thoughts about it. But um, I think we're going to leave it at that. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Molly Marco. 
um, or on YouTube, also at Mullen Marco, and watch videos about it, and you can see some other videos. I've already done videos with the wig on. Um, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but you can take a look back at those. Um, and yeah, like I said, ask me any questions you want. I'd love to do a Q&A about it if you are really interested, um, or just message me if you want to talk about it, if you're thinking about... Um, if this, if this sounds like you, if this sounds like you're just sick and tired of worrying about your hair and having bad hair days, um, yeah, I, I would love to talk to you about it and in more detail that I wouldn't really want to get into on here, like where I got it, how much it was, what kind of wig, da 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 da, da. So, um, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to this dump of laundry that I feel like I have folded pretty well. I feel like I have a pretty, pretty... I think I've sorted out pretty good. I feel good about it. Um, and yeah, but I'd love to hear your thoughts, hear about your laundry. Um, but I should go um, and do more of my laundry. <laughs> um, so until next time, uh, I hope that you have a great rest of your week and that your laundry load feels a little bit less. Bye, you guys.